Okay, our wire's in. We've got all of our nail plates on, okay, to protect our wire. Now it's time to put our drywall patch back on. Just like that. I gotta get a drill, some drywall screws. Okay, now when I sink this, I'm gonna make sure that I'm going into the stud and I'm not going anywhere near my wires. Okay. Now make sure when you sink your screws that your screws go past the drywall. Okay, you don't want them sticking out not even a little tiny bit. Past the drywall. And this patch should fit pretty much in the same spot. But since we have those drywall plates or these uh, those nail plates on there, don't be surprised if your drywall patch actually sticks out a little bit further. So I'm going to go ahead, finish screwing this down. All right. Now it's time to start putting our patch on. The actual piece of drywall is on. Our plates are on. Our wires are in. We're done. We're ready to finish this up. Make it make it look like new. Okay. Now when you're doing your patch. Take your time. Don't get in a hurry. Don't get impatient. If you've got to pass over it four, five, six times to make it look right, hey, do it. Whatever it takes. You're probably never going to come back and fix this again, so you want to make it look nice and take your time. First thing we're going to do, we're going to use uh, nylon mesh tape. This is drywall mesh tape right here. Slightly sticky on one side. Just take out the piece I want, cut it, put it on anytime that you've got to cut. You cannot, you can't jump, you can't cut corners. You have to put tape on. You have to put tape on. If not, it's always going to crack. You're always going to see that line. It's always going to look like junk. Okay? Do it. Put your tape on. I pre measured these already. Cover up everything real nice. Okay, and like I said, it's slightly sticky on one side. So it should hold. Okay. The corners are all taped on there. That's going to hold. All right, we're ready to start mixing this. This is kind of fun. We're going to mix some drywall mud. What I have here is I use 15 minute mud. I got a bucket of water, my mixer, my 8 inch blade. This is my scooper. They call this 15 minute mud because this mud has chemicals in it that reacts. Um, so it'll dry a little bit quicker than your regular standard mud. They have five minute mud, but five minute mud is a little too quick. It'll probably set up before you even get it on the wall. It's going to start setting up in your pan. It's a little too fast. 40 minute mud might take a little too long. You might be sitting around waiting for it. So I found I really like 15 minute mud, but you can sample around with, with different, uh, different times. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and scoop myself in a good portion. Use my sponge. Okay. Now the consistency we're looking for is like about like a pancake batter, a little thicker than pancake batter. I'm just using an egg beater on the end of a drill. Okay, we've got our drywall mud mixed, already laid on the wall. This first coat, what we really want to do is get a good coat over the top of that tape. You don't want any of this tape to be seen or any, any loose parts of the tape not covered because then it's going to start messing up your patch. I start with an 8 inch blade. It's going to give it a good amount of cover. Now you can tell this is a real installation because Jason's phone just went off. He was watching me put the patch on. <laughs> His phone just drained. Normally I'd reshoot it, but this is live. This is real drywall mud. So there's no reshooting from here. That's a really good first coat. I've got my tape covered, all the edges are down, all the way around, I can't see any of the edges. You can see a little bumps, I don't know if you can see them on the camera, but you do see a few bumps from the tape, that's okay, we're going to get that with the next one. We just really need to make sure all those corners are pinned. This is our first coat, this is with the 8 inch knife, now we're going to switch to a 12 inch knife. We're going to try to get a real smooth coat. Now remember, our patch, the actual cut in the wall is only about this big, but this is going to grow because we're trying to spread that out and feather it in over a long distance so it looks like it's smooth. Okay, 
So don't be afraid to let your patch grow. The part that makes your patch visible are the edges. So make sure as you put the mud on, you keep the pressure towards the outside of your knife so those edges come out nice and smooth. All right, that's a pretty good second coat. I think I'm gonna hit it with one more to make it perfect. But uh, even if I were to leave it like this, it'd be really hard to see, especially being on this type of texture of wall. But I'm gonna hit it one more time just so it's perfectly invisible. And uh, we're just about there. We are ready for the third and final coat. Now I'm only gonna do three coats, but a lot of you guys out there, you might have to do four or five, especially if you're, you're just starting out. It's gonna take a little while to get it to look right. But I think we're gonna get it on my third try. Okay. So the object of this one is I want to make this coat really, really, really smooth. I don't want to see any bumps or any imperfections. Because anything on this coat that you see is going to be seen at the end. Okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to make sure it's, it's super important that when you do the, the outside edges is going to be the visible part of your patch. So make sure you put, keep the pressure on the outside edge of your blade. Keep it really tight to the wall. Alright, this looks pretty good. I've got a couple minor imperfections here and there. And all I have to do at the end is just I'm just going to touch it up with a damp sponge. Which I'll show you guys how to do in a second as soon as this is dry. But this is going to be a really nice smooth coat. We're going to be ready for, well in this case we're done. I just have to do a little bit of touch up to smooth out a couple of bad spots. But in your guys' case, if you're going to add wall texture, orange peel, knock down, whatever you're going to do, you're going to lay it down on top of this nice smooth coat here. All right? All right, this patch is dry. It's ready for a little wet sanding. We're not actually going to use sandpaper on these things. We just use a damp, damp sponge. It's very lightly damp. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to right, brush up against it very lightly. Okay, you go too much, you're going to start taking off, and you're going to take off your edge. Everywhere I see that doesn't look right, just sand it down a little bit. Make a nice smooth patch. All right, looks like I need to hit this spot one more time. This this is all going to get covered behind the TV, so I'm not even really worried about it. But if you want it to be perfect, you know you can hit it again. Um, but this spot will definitely be visible, so I'm going to hit that spot one more time. Besides that, I think this thing's ready for paint. <laughs> 